y'all like my tablecloth? Okay. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, I would like to do this demonstration like if we were at a party. Okay, so I think I'd, I'd, I think I would do a better training if I was just at a party with you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go into party mode. I'm going to be acting like I'm talking to you guys if it is if we were at a party. And I probably will look right here at the front row a lot more often than I look out there just because it would be more comfortable for me. Um, but that's the way I'm going to work it, okay? So I've done all the things we do at our beginning of our party, and now I'm going right into my demonstration, okay? Well, all right, ladies. Well, um, I'm very glad that you all came to attend Miss Alicia's Tupperware party today. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump right into showing you ladies how the module mates work. Does anybody in the room own module mates? Yeah. Okay, good. Some of you also. And do you like your module mates? I yes. love them. Good. Okay. Well, those of you that have module mates are going to really appreciate this, but those of you that don't own module mates yet are really going to appreciate this as well. Um, module mates are what drew me into Tupperware to begin with. I attended the Tupperware party like I told you guys at the beginning when I introduced myself. Um, attended the Tupperware party, saw the module mates, loved them, couldn't buy them all, so I joined Tupperware to start getting the discount and it turned into something great. So these are very dear and close to my heart because they are what changed my life, um, so to speak. So the way that our module mates work is they're going to save us money, they're going to save us time, energy, and space. Okay, so who in the room wants to save money? We all do, right? I don't care how much money you have, you always want to save it, right? You can always use more of it. And who is um, pretty busy? Are we all busy? Yeah, we're busy. So we would love to save some time. And as far as energy goes, we women are typically the ones that buy the food, store the food, cook the food, and prepare the food, and put the food away, and all that other kind of good stuff. So it's going to cut back on all the energy that you're going to spend in the kitchen. And then, of course, space. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in just one second. But the first thing I want to talk to you ladies about is how the module mates are going to save you money, okay? The way that they're going to save you money, the first way is they have a liquid airtight seal, okay? So everything that you put into your pantries, that you put into your module mates, you go put it in your pantries, guess how long it's going to last? A year, okay? It's going to last a year. So, of course, it's not going to outdo your expiration date on your package, but it is going to last you a year. So think about how many times you throw food away. Have you thrown away cookies? Crackers, potato chips, right? Broken spaghetti noodles, all that kind of stuff, right? So we throw away food that we don't get to eat, and what are we ultimately throwing away? Money. money. So we're going to stop throwing away money. That's the first way that the module mates are going to save you money. The second way, the second way that the module mates are going to save you money is duplicate buying. Okay. Now, some of you have already said, oh, I know exactly where she's going with this, and so let me take the others of you there. Let's say that you go grocery shopping tomorrow, and you think, I'm going to make some homemade cookies for the you know, baking season that's here, and I need, uh, I need powdered sugar, I need sugar, I probably need some brown sugar, I may even need flour. You buy some of those things, you get home, and you find two bags of powdered sugar stuffed way back in the back of the pantry in the top shelf where you could see it. Y'all are shaking your heads. You've been there, done that. So you duplicate bought. You spent money that you shouldn't have spent, right? So you wasted money, okay? So it's going to totally cut back on that. Now, the way that it's going to save you time, look how easy this is to make a grocery list, okay? And did you guys know that you save a ton of money if you go to the grocery store with a list and not just what's up here or what's in here, okay? You've got to take a list with you to the grocery store. You're going to spend half the amount of money. You make you a list. You open your pantry, and this is what you see. So no more moving boxes around, moving canned goods, trying to see what you're low on, what you're not low on. This is totally going to save time when you get ready to go grocery shopping, okay? And as far as your energy, you get ready to prepare dinner. You're digging around for all the ingredients that you need, trying to grab it from here, grab it from there. These work just like Legos, okay? You're going to pull out what you need. You're going to use it. And then you're going to go put it all back in the spot so that it goes back into your pantry. Okay? So it's really going to cut down on the energy that you're spending in the kitchen because your prep time and your put away time, so to speak, is, is cut in half. Now, the last but not least, it's going to save you space. Okay? So now I'm going to go into asking you guys some questions. Who at our party today has a beautiful, nice walk-in pantry? Anybody? Okay. we got a couple of ladies. Okay. I was lying. I really don't. I don't really have one. I have a little cabinet I'm using. But I always say that just to make you guys know that it's okay to raise your hand at the party. So those of you that have a walk-in pantry, awesome. Those of us that don't, everybody else in the room with me, we're using maybe a cabinet, a little smaller spaces. Tupperware has designed our module mates to save you space. Now, they were designed and by engineers to 
to get in as little bit of space, I mean, to get as much in as little bit of space as possible, okay? So I typically, I'm gonna hand out this paper. This is a paper of my before and after cabinet, okay? So I'm gonna pass this around, you guys look at it. Look and see which pantry looks like yours, the before and the after, which one you want your pantry to look like. And if you're laughing and thinking, oh, I wish my pantry looked like that after picture, we can definitely make that happen, okay? And don't be embarrassed if your pantry looks like the before picture. Okay, because mine did too. We'll make it happen. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. I have my little, my little um, flip chart down here to save me since, uh, you know, because my mind wanders. So I like to have this to help me with my party. They come in four different shapes and five different heights. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how this works. It's very easy. We've got a square, an oval, okay. We have our super oval that we played our game with, our first game, that was our super oval. And then we have our rectangle. Okay, so we've got four different shapes. And now we have five different heights. So I'm gonna show you ladies our heights. We have a five, a four, scoot these down a little bit, a five, a four, a three, a two, and a one. Okay, so it's very easy. As you guys see, it looks like a stair, right? Y'all following me with that? Okay, so all the shapes, come in the heights. This is how this is going to work, okay? Now, if you are like a few of us in the room who said we had a nice, big, beautiful walk-in pantry, typically in America, the home builders have built those shelf heights to be the height of a six, which this is a five, like I told you, four, three, two, one. So you would put a five with a one on top of it, and that makes what? Six. So you guys can add. So you can sell Tupperware. It's not that hard, right? So it's a six, okay? So... We are going to try to maximize as much space as possible. Because picture yourself looking in your pantry. Pretend this is a little box of wheat thins. All this space is being wasted because you can't stack on top of a box of wheat thins, can you? At least not very easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize all of our space right here in our pantry. So we're going to put a five with a one. We are going to use our four with a two, a three with a three, a two and a two, a one and a one, and so now we have the height of a six all the way across, okay? So you've utilized all that space. Now, the majority of us in the room said we did not have a walk-in pantry, so let me show you what works typically in those homes that have the, the um, cabinet tree that we're using. Those typically in America are the height of a five, okay? So you're gonna use the five all by itself, put the four with a one, three with a two, like so, to where now you have the height of a five. Okay, so everything's still going to fit in there nicely. Now, if you're thinking, you know what, Cindy, I just don't think that my cabinet's just not that tall. Well, Tupperware thinks of everything. They've made the front and the backs of our module mates completely flat, so they're going to lay on their sides, so they still fit in there very great. So you could use the four by itself, a three with a one, a two and a two, all the way down to where now you have the height of a four. Okay, so it's still working. Now, if you move... Maybe you remodel your home. Maybe you're like me and you're planning on retiring and living on a yacht one day, right? Okay. And typically, you guys laugh. And I go, thank you. Um, no, seriously, I'm going on a yacht, really. <laughs> That's my plan. And with Tupperware, it's happening. Okay, so we can also lay our four on its side and use a three by itself, a two with a one, all the way down to where now we have the height of a three. Okay? So everything that fits up nice and tall also goes all the way down nice and short. Okay? They're great for, of course, kitchens. They're also wonderful for apartments. They're great for dorms. They're good for bathrooms. They're great for boats and campers, all kinds of places, especially when you're limited on space. But even when you have the big, beautiful, nice and walk-in closets, they're perfect for that as well. So you guys liking the modulate so far? Say yes. yes. Okay, good deal. Well, I'm going to show you guys what fits in what container best. Okay? Just to try to take your mind there to kind of help you. Of course, you can put anything you want to in them. But this kind of helps people figure out, well, that would be the size I would want. So I'm going to show you ladies really fast what sizes hold what the best. Now, this is one of our number one popular sizes. This is a, what, say, what shape is that? A rectangle. This is the height of a two. And if you're like me and you're thinking, how am I going to remember what size that is? It's right here on the bottom. It says two. even has a shape of a rectangle for you. So it's super easy, okay? So you've got a rectangle two. This one is known to hold crackers. It's great for holding six sleeves of crackers all at one time, okay? So who buys crackers? Okay. Have you ever thrown crackers away? Yes. Why would you throw them away, Loretta? Because they weren't in 
They weren't in Tupperware and they got stale on you, right? Good job, give her some auction money. Now, the Modular Mate Rectangle 2 is perfect for crackers because guess how many sleeves of crackers it holds? Six, all right. And how many sleeves of crackers come in a box of crackers when you buy them? Four, all right. So the reason I like to point that out is because I get down to having a couple packs of crackers, I make a grocery list, I go buy a new box of crackers, you bring it home, all four still will fit inside. So you don't have a box with a container not yet empty, okay? This one's also great for flour and sugar. It will hold five pounds of flour and seven pounds of sugar all at the same time. It's nice and wide, and what's that great for? <laughs> Scooping and leveling back off, right? So that's why I love it for that. It's also great for graham crackers. It's great for Kool-Aid packets, Pop-Tarts, gravy mixes, breakfast bars, all those wonderful things, popcorn, even microwave popcorn. Give her some auction money. <laughs> um, now, it's also great for, um, it'll hold 300 coffee filters. Now, if you ladies are thinking, how does she remember all that? Cheat sheet, okay? <laughs> Even you can sell Tupperware, okay? Because I don't want you guys to think that I remember all this because I got a lot of other stuff going on with my kids and all that kind of stuff. So, cheat sheets, okay? And everybody that purchases the Module Mate sets tonight, I will give you a cheat sheet to take home so you can remember and know what goes in what container best, okay? So, this is our rectangle two. The square four is another wonderful size that you have to have. The rectangle two holds 18 cups total. This one holds 23 cups total, so it's a larger capacity. It's also great for eight pounds of flour and 10 pounds of sugar. So if you like to have more of that, those items on hand, this is perfect for those wonderful, nutritious treats that we like to bring home to our family called potato chips. Okay, holds a whole bag of potato chips very nicely. You even have room, so you can see how much are short yet. I like to dump my bag of potato chips in because it keeps my 17-year-old from walking off of this container, and it doesn't end up in her car as much as it used to. Um, it makes her kind of pour it into a bowl and take the bowl and not my, my container. Um, but if you don't want to dump your chips in, you can roll your bag, stick it in, seal it nice and fresh. So how long is those chips going to last? A year. Very good. This one's also good for seven pounds of beans, and it will also hold saltine crackers as well. Okay? Now, moving to our tallest modular mate that we have. This is our largest one. This is the tallest one. It's the Oval 5. Okay? The Oval 5 is probably the one I, I have the most of because it does so many great things. The first thing that it's going to hold is sugar. Okay? Now, I have a camper. Anybody else got an RV or a camper or anything like that? Okay? You're limited on space in there. Maybe your house you're limited on space as well. This holds almost as much flour and sugar as this one. It's just going to hold it in a different shape. Okay? Of course, you can't scoop out of it, but you can always pour from it. Great for space issues. It's also perfect because it will hold five pounds of spaghetti. Does everybody buy spaghetti noodles? Yes. Okay, it does hold five pounds of spaghetti. It's also nice and tall, so it'll hold lasagna noodles as well. I like to put my lasagna and my spaghetti noodles together. Both pastas going in the same place. Um, it also will hold Ritz crackers. It will hold a normal 12 to 16 ounce box of cereal very nicely. So that's why I recommend having several of these. It will also hold taco shells. It's shaped just like a little taco shell, the hard shell tacos, so they fit nicely in there. And those go stale super fast. You open them, boom, they're gone. So this is great for all those. Now moving right along to our Opal 4. The Oval 4 is great for Chex Mix, things like that. I've got some Chex Mix in this one. It's also great because it will hold three pounds of flour, two pounds of macaroni noodles, two pounds of coffee, a whole 10 ounce bag of marshmallows. One of my favorite uses for the Oval 4 is for Bisquick. Does anybody buy Bisquick? Yes, okay, Alicia. Did you know that you were supposed to keep your Bisquick in the refrigerator after you open it? You did, all right. Did anybody else not know that? Loretta didn't know that. Loretta, the reason you want to put your Bisquick in the fridge after you open it is it says right on the package in teeny tiny words, like they didn't even want you to see it, is because it contains egg products. So it'll go, it'll go bad. It can grow mold in it and it can make you very sick. This one being a nice slim container, holds a whole box of Bisquick. I like to put this on my refrigerator door out of the way down at the bottom so my husband can make me waffles once a month. Okay? <laughs> I try to get them every week, but it don't happen. So that's our Oval 4. Now moving right along to our Oval 3. Our Oval 3 is wonderful for, if you guys remember in the beginning, our auction question, what was the number one, America's number one cookie? Oreos. Oreos, all right. So it will hold a whole bag of Oreos. It will also hold tea bags. It'll hold 100 tea bags, keep you nice and organized in your home. 
It's also great for a pound of noodles, two pounds of flour, um, a pound of coffee, and instant oatmeal. All kinds of great things fit in this one, okay? But tea bags and Oreos are probably my number one for that one. And then moving right down the line here, we've got our Oval 2. Oval 2 is great for brown sugar and powdered sugar. Does anybody have some brown sugar at home that looks like a brick? Yes? Okay. Well, let me give you a little secret, okay? So you don't have to throw your brown sugar away. You can take your Mondial Mate homes today, and when you get home, you put your brown sugar in your Mondial Mate. You're going to put a little bit of water, sprinkle some water over it, seal it liquid airtight, leave it in there for maybe 24 hours, go back and fluff it just as fluffy as can be with a fork. Okay? Get all that out of there. Now, the Oval 2 is also great for goldfish, wheat thins, better cheddars, and triscuits. Okay? So imagine how big that box actually looks, and it goes in this container. Okay? So it's great for those. Now, last but not least, we have moved on to our smallest one, the cutest one of all, and that is our Oval 1. The Oval 1 is great because it will hold things like your flavored coffees, your nuts and your raisins, things that you might buy smaller amounts of. It's also great for toothpicks. Now, if you're looking at me thinking, Cindy, why do I want to keep my toothpicks fresh? Well, you may not want to keep them fresh, but you want to keep that box. Anybody know what I'm talking about? That flimsy old box flying out of the cabinet at you every time you open it? Yeah, you stepped on some toothpicks before. <laughs> me too. And so when your toothpicks are kept in your mantra mate, they won't fly out at you and go all over the floor. So nice for that. It's also great for cupcake liners, uh, birthday candles, and matches. It keeps it all in one container so when those birthdays come around, you got everything. Um, the number one reason why I love the Oval One holds baking chocolate chips that you only would use a half of a bag, right? But it also holds baking soda. Does anybody buy baking soda? Okay. Alicia, what do you do with your baking soda that you buy? What are you buying it for? Oh, since I'm not a baker, I put it in the refrigerator. Okay, so you're not a baker, you put it in the fridge. What is it doing in the fridge for you? Absorbing the odors. Absorbing odors. Okay, and Loretta, you said you bought it. Do you buy it to bake with? I use it to bake with, but I also use it to put in the fridge. Okay, awesome. Because baking soda is a natural absorbent. I'm sure you ladies know that. It naturally absorbs. So the one that uh, Alicia's got sitting in her fridge, it's absorbing all the bad odors. The one that Loretta's got sitting up in her pantry is absorbing bad odors, too. You're going to use it for cooking, but it doesn't care. It's just doing its job. It's absorbing the oregano, the pepper, dog food bones, anything else that's laying anywhere close to it, it's absorbing it. So if you've ever made homemade cookies and they came out flat, that's why. Your baking soda was all used up. But when you put it into a mantra mate, you seal it up what? Liquid airtight. There you see, you guys can sell Tupperware. You guys already know. Liquid airtight it's going to turn it off, so to speak. So it's always going to be fresh for you when you get ready to use it, and it will hold the whole box, okay? All right, ladies, so you still loving the modulars? Say yes? yes. Okay, good deal. Have I taught you some things that you didn't know? Yes? Okay, good deal. All right, well, now we're going to talk a little bit about bugs, okay? No bugs allowed. Now, I'm so sure that nobody at this party has bugs. I'm not saying you got bugs, okay? I hope I don't have no bugs in my house, but... One out, of uh, one out of five times when we go to the store, we buy pasta, flour, sugar, anything that's made in a meal, you have the chance of bringing home what's called a weevil. Okay, has anybody ever experienced a weevil? Okay, some, okay, me too, yeah, at a hurricane at, at all times. So a weevil is not your store, it's not you, it's just, it's a fact of life, okay? So let's say you go to the store, you buy your flour, your sugar, your pasta, whatever, you bring it home, you don't know there's weevils in there. There's not a little bug holding up a sign saying, hey, you're buying me and taking me home today, Teresa, good luck. No. You bring it home. You put it in your pantry. They start climbing out, going everywhere, because guess what? They're not just happy with the food that they came in. They want all your food in your pantry. They're going to contaminate everything. And if you've ever had to deal with that, very costly, very time-consuming, and very irritating. Okay? So if you bring home your weevils, I mean your flour, your sugar, your pasta, you bring it home, you put it in a modular mate. You seal it what? Liquid airtight. See? You guys got this. A bug is in here. Can he do what? He can't, he can't breathe. So he's going to crawl to the top looking for a way to escape. He's going to die because there's no air. He's going to be dead. You're going to see him dead. They're like little pieces of pepper. Throw away your product, your food. Wash your container. Case closed. Job done. Okay? No having to throw away and clean everything. Sound good? Okay? Now what about when it gets hot here in Texas? Do we have little creepy crawlies coming from outside? Sometimes. What are they looking for? Food. Want something to drink. So they come into your house. They creep and crawl over your modulars. Can they get in? Oh, 
So they hit the road, right? There's nothing there for them to eat, they leave. Okay? Do you guys know what the number one food for a bug in your house would be? Cardboard. Cardboard. Very good. $50,000 for that. So cardboard. Think about how much cardboard we have in our pantries. Think about how much we won't have in our pantries when we have our laundry mates. Okay? So you're eliminating the whole attraction to them. Okay? Sound good so far? Yes? Okay. Good deal. Good deal. All right, ladies. Well, before I move any, any further, I want to show you guys our awesome, awesome spice carousel. Does anybody own the spice carousel? Yes? Okay. We're going to pretend like nobody did. <laughs> okay, the spice carousel is great. Even if you guys own it, I'm going to tell you about it because maybe you don't know all there is to know about it, but I'm going to let you also share some great things about it. The spice carousel comes with four, I'm sorry, eight half cups and eight one cups. Okay, now I'm going to pass this one around so you guys can open and close it. And the way that this works is it works just like our module mates. Okay, so you got a liquid airtight seal. That how long is your spice going to stay fresh? One year. One year. Okay, do you guys want to join my team because you're doing fantastic? <laughs> guys are awesome. Okay, so one year is going to keep your spices fresh. Now, if you buy spices, can they be expensive? Yes, they can't. They're not free by no means. And when you buy a spice from the store and you bring it home in the little jar, you break that seal of freshness. You guys know what I'm talking about? You can't seal it back up, can you? You just screw a top back on. You ever had some spice that's as hard as a brick? It's not coming out, right? You ever spiced up some food? Like, where did all the spice go? I taste nothing here. It's because when you open a spice, you close it back up with your little uh, seal, you get maybe six weeks out of that spice, and then it's gone. Okay, it's not near the, the oomph that it should be. You're going to start getting clumps and bugs can get in it. It's not going to be near as well as it's supposed to be. In your spice carousel rack, how long is it going to last? Here. Okay, good job. Now, the spice carousel is fantastic. And the other thing I want to share with you guys is you can go to H-E-B and Kroger Signature Stores and you can buy spices in bulk. Did you guys know that? You can take your spice shaker, you take it to the store with you, you find where they've got the spices in the scoops where you just scoop out what you want of the spice. You want this much, you get this much. You want this much, you pay for this much. You take your container, you stick the little plastic baggie that they give to you down in your container. You fill it up so now you know how much you've got. You pull your bag out. You put it on the little weight scale. They print off a little 20 cent sticker for you. Yes, 20 cents instead of four bucks. And you take it and you buy it. You're going to bring it home. You're going to put it in your mods remain anyway, your, your uh, spice carousel. You are going to throw away the packaging that you're paying for anyhow. So go to the store and do it this way. I had a hostess of mine tell me that she filled up every one of her spice containers for $12. Okay? You save 90% of the money when you buy in bulk like that because you're not paying for the packaging. Okay? Sound good? Say yes? Okay, good deal. Now I'm going to share with you guys the way the module makes work. You do get to pick your own color. The oval, the super oval that we played our game with earlier has the beautiful royal blue top on it. This is our beautiful passion red. Okay, so you get to pick your color. As you notice, they have beautiful labels. I give everyone tonight that purchases a set of modulars for me, I give you a set of labels absolutely free, a sheet of clear labels. I email you a Word document, because if you don't buy Oreos, I don't want to give you a label that says Oreos. I want you to have to, I want you to customize that label sheet to fit your needs, okay? So I'm going to send you a sheet send you an email, you adjust your words accordingly, take off things you don't buy, add things you do buy, and then you can print your labels and they can be just as beautiful, okay? Um, you also get to pick your color, all right? So now I'm gonna share with you guys, you guys wanna know how to get your module mates? Say yes? Okay, I'm gonna share with you how you can get your module mate sets. The first way that you can get a module mate set is you can become a partner with me in Tupperware. You already know how long do things last in a module mate? Here, you guys know this, you got this, okay? If you decide, you know what, I want to do what Cindy does. I want to have my little cheat sheet notes and make money. I already know all the things I need to know. Then you can join my team. You can be a personal shopper, which is why I joined five years ago, to get my module mates at a discount, and you will get your discount in the future, okay? And you can decide that you want to host a Tupperware party. If you're like Alicia today and you host your own Tupperware party, you are not only going to get to take advantage of our host gift special that we're going to talk about in a little bit, but you also, Alicia, as a hostess, you're going to get $20 off of the sets I'm about to show. Okay? If she decides that she wants to purchase some set tonight, she gets $20 off, and guess what? I have about four sets of, of the module rate sets in my car for the first four people that buy them to take them home. 
Okay, so Alicia, you're going to come first, okay? Okay, she's like, I want mine tonight. So that's how we're going to do that. The third way is to buy in sets. Okay, you guys ready to see my sets? Okay, I'm going to show you guys my sets. What I did is I tried to look in my pantry. I tried to make it as easy as possible. I'm the kind of lady, I want to go to the store, I see a mannequin, she's got everything on, I think, okay, that's what I want. And I want to go digging through racks, I want to try to find things that match, I just want it all at one time. So that's what I tried to put together with some sets that made things easy. Okay? I have a small, a medium, and a large to fit everybody in. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. All right, I have a small, a medium, and a large to fit everybody's needs. And I'm going to show you my sets and then I'm going to show you the pricings on my sets, okay? All right, I'm going to see if I get my little pen back here to stay. All right, okay. So the first set that I have is my small. My small set is everything here, okay? So it's all 10 of your ovals. Now, it's not going to complete your pantry, but it would definitely get your pantry started. And I'm sure when Cindy has her party and Loretta have her party, because you guys are going to take the keychain off the box tonight, I'm sure, right? And um, Alicia, you'll get to open your box. They are going to get to add the other pieces at their parties, okay? So you guys will see me again, so don't worry about that. But this is a small oval set. Again, you get to pick your color. What color would you want, Alicia, red or blue? Red, okay. Red or blue, also you get your free labels. My small set is 115. Okay, so you can take your small set home tonight for 115. My medium set is all 13 pieces that you see here. So everything that I showed you guys, okay? So you're getting a chip container, you're getting your flour or your sugar container. Um, definitely get your pantry, pantry going. Probably gonna need a couple extra pieces. Are you gonna see me again? Say yes. Yes. Yes, and you can get some extra pieces. A medium set comes with all 13 pieces. Your red or blue seal. It even comes with your free labels. And let me remind you guys, what if Alicia takes her module mate home uh, her set tonight? She drops it out of the pantry next week and cracks a piece. What are you going to do, Alicia? Call you. She's going to call me. And you know what I'm going to say? It's in the mail. Don't sweat it. I got you. Okay? So you do get your lifetime guarantee, lifetime warranty with all your pieces. A medium set, all 13, 175 for all 13 pieces. Okay? Now, if you're like me and you're thinking, okay, what else you got? Let me see it all. The large set. Large set is everything that you see here, plus you're going to get a whole nother end set. Okay? So you're going to get two of these, two of these, and two of these. 16 pieces total. Does that make sense to everybody? Any questions about that? Okay. So 16 pieces total. Probably do your pantry. You may need a few little extra pieces. Upgrade a couple of every now and then. 16 pieces is 225. Okay? Now, if you've just got to have this uh, beautiful, which I know you do, our beautiful spice carousel rack, comes with all eight half cups, all eight one cups on this beautiful turntable. The spice carousel rack is, an, is $79. You cannot beat that. And how much would it probably cost you to fill it up? 12. 12, 15 bucks, depending on what kind of spices you buy. Okay? So you can definitely add that in. I do have some of these in my car as well, so Alicia will make sure we pull yours out first. So this, these are my sets. These are my prices. Um, I'm going to give everybody a catalog. This is our full line catalog. Everything in here is everything that we carry. Our modules are in here. You're not going to see my sets on the sheet because why? Because they're Cindy sets, right? Okay. So when you want to order a set, I want you to be the first one to come so I can get it out of my car for you and tell me small, medium, or large, and I'll write it on your sheet. Okay. Um, everybody has an order form. You also are going to have a small flyer that's everything on sale ask me questions i got the calculator for the headaches okay um we are going to do what we women do best and that is eat and shop we'll all come back together when we get done eating and shopping and we're going to give alicia her free things that i have for her and explain her beautiful host gift special all right okay. oh.